Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add voiceover in Windows Live Movie Maker. Now Microsoft have not provided the ability to do that, so we are just going to have to work around them. In this example, I'm going to add narration to a video slideshow that I made to show how you can add video to an eBay listing. As you can hear, I added background music to it as well. And just to make life complicated, I want to keep background music both while I'm doing the narration as well as continuing after I stop talking. To record the voiceover, we're going to need some third party recording software and obviously a microphone. Now if you don't have any other recording software, just Google Audacity. And there we are. Click on that one and download Audacity. Save file. I've already done that so I won't bother. This voiceover is just going to be very simple and I'll be talking to the first few frames. Now the video doesn't start straight away so what you need to do is click where it's going to start and notice that it's what nearly two seconds before it starts. Therefore when I'm doing when I'm recording the narration um, I'll need to say nothing for the first couple of seconds. When you first open up Audacity this is the screen you're presented with. Now because you will be recording voiceover you're going to want to make sure that the program is recording from the same microphone that you're using. In this case it is as I'll be using my Yeti. With everything set up, all you have to do now is press the record button. Here we have a fine example of 18th century craftsmanship. The top of the lantern lifts back to give access and there's ample room to then light the candle. Okay, so that was an extremely fanciful description of the lantern, but you get the picture. Now I'm going to add the background music. So I'll go up here to File, Import, Audio, and I already know the music I want to use. Chance Encounter, and Open. Ignore that. And there it is. Now I'm going to add that again, and you'll see why shortly. We'll be working with one track at a time, so the first thing we'll need to do is to mute the second track. That just leaves us playing with these two. I want this music to be playing gently in the background while I'm talking, and then when I finish talking, we can increase the volume. Now if I left the volume as it is, it would be far too loud and would completely drown out my, my words. So we'll reduce the gain here right down to about 21, 22. Now we'll start on the second music track. As you can see, my narration stops at about the 12 second mark. So that's when we want the new music, the louder music, to come into action. So we'll scroll down, unmute the last track. Now, the 12 second mark is the important one. So we want to highlight this bottom one. So we put the cursor at the beginning and just move it across until you reach a bit less, I think, than the, let's do it for 11 seconds. Then click on edit, remove audio and silence audio. As you can see, that's now completely removed that audio. Left as it is, the louder music would start suddenly which would sound pretty bad, I'll show you. And there's ample room to then light the candle. Not very professional. So what we'll do is we'll fade it in. So we'll just have to highlight the first, let's say, couple of seconds. Let's do it a bit more, about there. Then we go to Effects and Fade In. As you can see, it's just faded in that first couple of seconds. So we'll play that and there's ample room to then light the candle. It's now all done and ready to save. So we simply file and export. 
you have to export it in Audacity. You can't just save it. So we'll give it a file name. Call it VoiceOver. We'll save it as a, a WAV. You get all sorts of options, but WAV is good. And save. Won't bother with that. And OK. That's it, saved. Back in Windows Live Movie Maker, the first thing I'll do is delete the existing music. Just highlight it and press delete. I can then import the new one. So we'll go add music. And then have a quick search. VoiceOver. And there it is. Open. And that's it. We have done it. Let's give it a test. Here we have a fine example of 18th century craftsmanship. The top of the lantern lifts back to give access, and there's ample room to then light the candle. Mm -hmm.